I'm Miss Ramona from the St. Mary Parish Library. Today we're going to be doing a craft with CDs. I'm going to be making a CD spinner that has a little bit of science behind it. After I paint my CD, then we'll talk about the science. I have one already made and I'll be using this one to demonstrate when we do talk about the science, okay? Alright, so let's get started. Okay, in your bag that you're going to pick up from the library, you're going to have a blank CD, which is already hot glued with the marble and the bottle cap, okay? And you're going to get a toothpick, which you're going to draw your designs with after you paint. You're going to get a little container of paint and a paintbrush, okay? So what, what you would do if you would be doing this at home with the glue gun and all, you take your CD and put it on a piece of paper because you're going to be painting it and you don't want mom to have paint all over everything, okay? So here I am, I'm going to take my paint, which I picked purple this time. Here we go. Now you paint your CD whatever color you want to paint. And it's going to probably take about two coats because it takes a, a lot to cover the uh, CD. After we paint it, to dry it, if you want it to dry really quick, you can use a hair dryer, okay? So, I'm going to paint my CD. on the side to dry and we're going to talk about the science behind the top spinning. Alright, so let's see. So what makes a top spin and eventually wobble and tip over? All kinds of forces are at play. Here's a simplified version as to what's going on. The science behind spinning tops is actually very complex. When you initially spin the top, which I'm going to do here with my one I've already finished, you're turning the top stored energy, which is called potential energy. Then you, you, what you're doing, you're turning it into energy of motion as it spins, which is called kinetic energy. The top eventually stops spinning because of friction and gravity. So let's watch friction do its job in gravity. The surface below the top provides friction eventually causing the spinning to slow down, which it did, and the top begins to wobble. As it begins to wobble, the top tilts, allowing gravity to pull it over. And that's how it happens. All right, back to our CD. So I take my CD and I put it on top of a bow to hold it in place. I'm gonna take my cap and I'm take the hot glue and go all around the circle. Make it kind of thick so that it'll stick to your CD. Now, if you have a hot glue gun at home and you're wanting to make another one, make sure mom does it because the glue is very, very hot. You're gonna stick your cap over the hole in the middle of the CD and you're gonna hold it for a little while for the glue to dry, okay? So the cap will stay in place. All right, now it's not moving. All right, then you're gonna turn your CD over to the back. You would take your marble. I put a glob of glue on my marble. Then you go to the circle in the CD and you go all around the edge. Put a lot of glue there too. And it doesn't matter if it falls into the hole. All right, then you're gonna plop your marble right into the circle and kind of push it down and hold it so that it can dry too, and it'll stay, so it'll stay in place. And if it would happen to fall out again, if you have a hot glue gun, you just peel the old glue off and then you can put it back again. All righty, and there's our CD spinner. What you're gonna do now you're going to take your toothpick 
paint's completely dry, and you're going to make designs in your CD. I'm going to make stores. Let's see how that works. All the way around. You can make any design you want on yours. That's the real cool thing is when you spin it, you can see what you've done. All right, that's good. Okay. Now, let's take a turn with our CD and see how it looks. There you go. You see my stars? So whatever you put, that's what's going to happen. That's what you're going to see. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do another cool project. It's called the Balloon Cup Blaster. What you're going to do, you're going to take your cup, and you should, you're should going to have this in your bag. You're going to have the cup, you're going to have the balloon, and you're going to have the pom-pom. Okay? The only thing you would need at home is some duct tape. And I'll tell you what I use that for in a minute, okay? So first we're going to do is cut out the bottom of the cup. And that's a little hard. you got to get your scissors just right. Make that first cut. Then you can cut around. This is what I use the duct tape for. After you cut, it's a little rough around the edges. So I cut out a piece of duct tape. And I kind of already have mine pre-cut. Okay, then you're going to go around your cup. <laughs> and it sticks really good. And that takes care of the rough edges. All right. So now you're going to take your balloon and you're going to tie off the end. And this is where I have a little problem. You might have to get your moms to help you. Okay. Then the end is tied off. And you're going to go to the other end, and you're going to snip it off. All right. After you do that, you go to the wide end of your cup. You take your balloon, and you stretch it over the end. Okay. Make sure your little thing's right in the middle. Okay, there you go, and there's your balloon cup blaster. Now, I put a target in y'all bag for y'all to color and use, or you can tape it up on the wall or something so you can shoot your pom poms at your target. Okay, come on. There we go. And that's it. Now you can have fun with your balloon cup blaster. All right, before we go, I want to show you a few books that I picked that tells us about the things we've just done. As you know, the CD spinner was about gravity and friction. In the library, we have books about gravity and friction, and if you want any, just let your mom know. She can give us a call, and then she can come and pick them up. You also can go to the St. Mary Parish Library website. They have a lot of cool books there. All right, it's time for me to go. I'm glad I got to see y'all today, and I hope I hear from y'all. Bye-bye.